channel all about biology and this is Jyoti Verma. Today we are going to discuss about phylloclade. So phylloclade is a modification of stem. First important point is, is that it is a modification of stem. The stem having several nodes and internodes are modified into flat fleshy green leaf like structures here which are called as phylloclade. So, in the case of phylloclade, the stem which consists of certain nodes and internodes which are the areas on the stem gets modified into flat fleshy and green leaf like structure. Okay, and as it gets converted into a leaf like structure which is green in color, so it will carry out photosynthesis like leaf and it will also store food. However, in the case of phylloclade, the original leaves have been modified into certain structures which may be in the form of spines or it leaves may be modified in the form of scales in order to reduce transpiration. The examples of phylloclade in this case may be Opuntia, Muhilenbachia, Casuarina. So these are the examples of phylloclade and these are the important points related to phylloclade. Now we will discuss about the each one of the following examples which are related to phylloclade. The first example is phylloclade of Opuntia. So Opuntia is basically a xerophytic plant. Xerophytic plant in the sense means that it grows on that habitats that are xeric in nature that contains very less amount of water or negligible water. So it is a xerophytic plant. Now in this case what happens the stem gets modified into joint branched flat leaf like structure which is called as the phylloclade. So in Upunshia you must have seen in Upunshia uh, this type of structure is seen and here what happens the stem gets modified into the form of flat green fleshy leaf like structure which is called as the phylloclade. All these segments are the phylloclades in this case. So uh, what happens this phylloclade is green in color so it performs the process of photosynthesis and uh, as this opuntia is growing within the xeric environment so it consists of a layer of cuticle over it which is thick in nature and it will reduce transpiration also. And here in this case what happens the leaf get modified into the form of spines. These are the original leaves which get modified into the form of spines in order to reduce transpiration. Flowers are born on the nodes. So in this case the phylloclade consists of nodes and internodes. This joint portion is the node and rest of the portion is the internode. So flowers mainly born on the node portion. So that is basically phylloclade of Opuntia. Now we are coming to our next example of phylloclade which is phylloclade of Muhlenbachia. So Muhlenbachia is a member of family Polygonaceae. It is also a xerophytic shrub. In this case what happens? The internodes of the stem are get modified into the form of flat green photosynthetic leaf like structure. All the stems generally have nodes and internodes. There is a point which is node. The distance between two nodes is referred to as the internode. So in the case of Muhlenbachia, the internode of the stem gets modified in the form of flat green leaf like structure which is referred to as phylloclade. The normal leaves or the original leaves in this case are reduced to scales and these are attached to the nodes. The normal leaves are very short, small and these are reduced to scales. These are basically attached to the node point. Then the flowers are born in the axil of scale leaves at the node. The node point is here and the flowers are born in the axil of these scale 
leaf. So that is all about philoclade and its examples. If you like the video, just subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you so much.